So this video is examples on page 13 of where we're doing two-digit multiplication with decimals. Now, this page has examples where the decimals are lined up, but please remember that you do not actually have to line up the decimals when you're multiplying. So if I had an example of 1 and 57 hundredths, and I multiplied it with 1 and 4 tenths, this is perfectly acceptable, so you don't have to line up the decimals. Just keep that in mind while you're answering these questions. Because all the questions on 13 and 14, the decimals are lined up but they don't have to be. So let's answer these questions. So on page 13, you'll notice the whole row is row A. And they've already answered the first question in row A. So we're going to answer the second and the third question from row A. Five and 76 hundredths times 27 hundredths. So 7 times 6 is 42. Carry your 4. 7 times 7 is 49, plus the 4 that I carry is 53. Carry your 5. 7 times 5 is 35, plus the 5 that I carry is 40. I do not put a decimal in my answer. Remember, when you're multiplying with decimals, you leave that step to the very end. Now I move on to the 2, and all of my answers for the 2 need to start directly under the 2. So I have to make sure I put an x to leave that space blank. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14, plus the 1 that I carry is 15, carry your 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus the 1 that I carry is 11. So now I have two lines of answers, one from the 7 and one from the 2. I'm going to add them up together. I still have not put my decimal in yet. 2 plus nothing is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, 0 plus 5 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1 plus nothing is 5. Now that I have my final answer, this is when I put the decimal in. So I count how many decimal spots I have in the question. In this case, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four digits after the decimal in my question. So I'm going to have four, one, two, three, four, in my answer. And that is how you do that. Let's practice again with the next question. So I start with the one. I ignore the decimals for right now. One times nine is nine. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. I put an x under the 9 so that all of my 6 answers can start in the same area, under the 6. 6 times 9 is 54. Carry your 5. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 5 that I carry is 35. Carry your 3. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 3 that I carry is 27. So I'm going to add up my two lines of answers, and then I'll have my final answer, and then I can put in my decimal. 9 plus nothing is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. 7 plus nothing is 7. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So I look 
look back at my question and I count the decimal spots. I have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four decimal. So four and fifty-nine hundredths times sixty-one hundredths is two and seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine ten thousandths. So this is how you do all of page 13 and all of page 14. These are exactly how those answers are going to look. 